Hi everybody, this video is in English or good morning or good evening, I don't know wherever you are on this world. Um, my last video was in Farsi, in my mother tongue, but this one is in English uh, because um, I got some messages that they were asking for the English version. So I will make it a little bit more faster. So um, I'm a mother with MS um, and um, um, in this video, I will um, describe you how one day of my life is. So, um, first of all, I wanted to say to you, maybe some of you will understand what I say now because they feel similar or they might felt like me five years ago or um, I hope not, but maybe in 10 or 15 years, you will understand exactly what I mean. Um, but I think when we share our days and um, our feelings, um, so we can improve and have a better life. So what happens in the morning? When I wake up in the morning, if I wake up too late, that means if I stay in bed like till nine, half past nine or 10, um, then I have the whole day fatigue, much stronger fatigue. I feel it stronger. So I must have a sleeping hygienic. That means I try to go to bed latest at 10, 10 to 30. Uh, and then um, I, I should wake up in the morning, like always the same time. If I say, it's, um, and my clock is on 6.20 when I wake up at seven, let's say. So I open my eyes um, I have I, I learned that. So I didn't do it from the start. So whatever I tell you, I try to keep doing it but I'm not perfect but I'm just gonna tell you what is giving me a good life maybe it will help you and so I wake up at seven and then just open my eyes no cell phone no social media and and then I just start breathing and just move my feet a little bit and then slowly I wake up from the uh, stand up from this right side sit on my bed look out of the window i'm lucky i have a window next to my bed and 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 then i do some exercises um our dog chantal is always coming and visiting me and sometimes she's doing some movements with me um i have a, i have a carpet with some needles so i want to wake up my senses in my feet because they they are always sleepy and late and i have a strong drop foot so I, I will send you pictures and videos that you will understand what I mean. I just put my feet on, on this carpet and move a little bit and then I do three times breathing, my arms up and down, up and down just to wake up my body. tell you it every morning every day uh, we have to remember our bodies how they have to to function so start with easy breathing and easy movements and then and then while you are sitting and there and your feet are on this needle carpet you try to just review your, your full day what are your plans for the day and everybody is different. Everybody has different priorities, um, like your, your work, your studies, university, your family or whoever, whatever. So whatever is your most priority, you think about that. So what I do when I wake up in the morning, I just pass the whole day and say to myself, okay, today is what day? When are the boys coming from school? So they need lunch, they need snacks, um, and and then they might have to go to a football or uh, other activities outside of the house. I'm organizing a little bit the day. The moment I have done it in my head, I will stand up slowly. I have always my music on in my bedroom, in the kitchen and in the living room because the music is for me so important, especially because me and Chantal, we are most of the time alone at home. So we have music everywhere 
and I stand up and um, wash my face and do, do whatever I have to do. If I have to do anything in standing, I try still to do some plays and go down. I will send you pictures. And like this, I do also some movements for my body. I wash my teeth, wash my face, put on cream and everything I do. But the thing is, I have everywhere, I have a little sofa. So wherever I am, even in my bedroom, I have spots where I have side where I can sit. So whenever I'm tired, I will sit on it or I will put on my clothes while I'm sitting. And you just organize everything. If you have organized everything, sometimes you have very good days. Use that at all at, at your room. But sometimes you have not so good days, so you will use them. So better it is you have them. So I put on my clothes, but because I'm planning and my bedroom is a little bit far away from the rest of the house. So what I do is I, I put on clothes for the whole day and take everything I have in my bag and I leave the house, I leave the room in my room and say to myself, I won't come back until tonight. So I have everything with me. So with organization, you can do that. Um, the, the most important thing for me is life comfort. I love, I, I used, I, I, I was not like that. I love to have it fancy. I, I wanted to think about it more often. I had high heels, I was doing this and that. But now it's not like that. If if I have choose between, oh, this is so nice and fancy, uncomfortable, but sexy or whatever, I say, no, I choose the comfortable one. Um, everything which is comfortable, um, either clothes or um, uh, furniture in the house or whatever makes you more life comfort, go for that. It's worth it. And when you plan your days, it is very good uh, um, that you also plan ahead like one year or something or you give yourself a plan and say okay I, I know myself I care about myself so what is important for me for me for example number one is important that I have a, I have a watch where it counts my steps because I love to have high number of steps in in the evening so I'm always looking forward to look at my watch in the evening so I have my um, Apple watch which is helping me of course you can have other watches too and generally you have to see what is important for you for me it's important that every six months I go to the dentist and have my clean my, my teeth cleaned this is very important for me and once a month I go to pedicure and manicure is okay I do it myself and in summer maybe I go to the um, manicure but uh, every two three months for me very important I go to facial I have to do my face I have some dry spots in my face which I don't like and um, it's important that you give yourself varieties that you don't get bored of your of yourself that means if you want to go to the hairdresser you see how is your budget maybe you go every two weeks or you have your friend or your hand has yeah, she helps you she comes and makes your hair like not like my hair but uh, you know what I mean just make yourself and uh, give yourself some quality in life like don't say oh no, that's not important I don't need it I don't yes you need it exactly you need it and you need a plan for it and you must make your appointments because if you have appointments and if you have a plan you're forced to go that's why do it please you just go there and have a good time for yourself save money and do that for yourself and um, so I was telling when I leave the, my bedroom, I won't come back. So I go to the kitchen and I see if I have sleep, uh, still food uh, left over from last night because I try to cook only three times a week and cook a little bit more that I have it for the next day lunch or dinner. Um, it depends when the boys come from, back from school. So for me, it's a big, big, big um, relief. If I if I have food for the boys, so if the boys are good with food, dessert, and snacks, I can think of myself. So what I do is, uh, if I have leftover, I will show you some pictures. I just keep them warm, and um, I like 
um, to do myself some games with the boys so I always keep the kitchen like the restaurant and mommy is the chef so whatever we have for lunch or dinner and whatever is lunch time whenever it's lunch time or dinner time I write the time and I write it uh, with the, um, with the chalk on, on, a, on a blackboard I will show you pictures And that they know when is lunch, when is dinner, and what we have for lunch and dinner, and what desserts are so important. So the moment they come to the kitchen, they read it, and they don't need to ask me, and then they get happy, and everything is good. Normally, I make them some gelée or pudding, chocolate pudding. Um, you will see it in the pictures. and um, um, as i told you in my other older videos that i have a new therapy with visage since two years um, i'm not posting more of these videos because i want to tell you the results after maybe a longer period but uh, i will i will put her in the caption so if you have any question about the oil therapy or function medicine um, uh, whatever I cannot answer you any question please just uh, send them a message they will answer you definitely so what I do about how my diet is because it's my diet I brought it slowly slowly inside the whole family I have dairy free and gluten free that means no milk products no milk no cow milk we have um, coconut milk soy milk avena milk and uh, no butter we have some something like butter but it's from from plants uh, but i don't eat so much uh, and so you will see when i make myself breakfast how my breakfast looks like it's quite simple i have nuts dried fruits and some fruit and most not every day but sometimes um, eggs um, boiled egg or fried egg or avocado i i try to make my table nice but it's not so spectacular no heavy breakfast after a while your body even doesn't need it and and um, it get used to this and it is so healthy so what when I do the boys pudding I use my coconut milk they at the beginning they they didn't like it but they got used to it that's that's unbelievable if you don't buy it they get used to it and and then when they open the fridge with all lots of pudding um, balls they get very happy it's so warm in their heart uh, it reminds me to my childhood because my mom used to do that a lot so um, I told you that um, every people with MS for me it's like that um, it was not like that at the beginning but my but when I wake up normally I have to say 80% of my times when I wake up, it's like I didn't do any activities the days before. I'm doing every day, I'm doing some exercises. I do Vasper, I do, I do a little yoga and some stretching, but somehow my body forgets that. So I have to remind my body how I should move again and keep my balance um, and to stay active. Um, there is MS Gym. I will put it in the caption. MS Gym helps me a lot on Instagram. Maybe just a few seconds. He, he will tell us what to do. And this is really helpful. MS Gym. So after I have warmed up the lunch of the boys and made some pudding, I have my breakfast with some coffee or tea. You will see it on the picture. And then uh, I, I look, I go to my sports room and I leave the kitchen because I won't come back the next two, three hours. So I have everything on me because for me going forward and backward, it's 
it's not so easy so i plan it very well so i'm very aware so i'm leaving the kitchen my cell phone is with me everything is okay in the kitchen everywhere is clean then i leave the kitchen of course chantal is always with me and then i do um if i have time some sports normally i do my sports definitely but if i have on my program i do some painting or i meet some friends i i i keep my my waking time the the time period which i i'm awake like if i'm awake from 8 to 10 this is 14 hours i say okay keep your energy for these 14 hours um keep them that you are the 14 hours have the same energy that you can you don't do something very hard that you get very tired so you have to plan yourself and you have to know yourself first very well what makes you very tired and what takes a lot of energy from you then, and then you have to save your energy for the full day um, generally something you must know about me everybody is different for me um, now I would say after 21 years marriage I would say um, now 2022 um, the most if I have 100% of my energy in my life now I would say 60% of my energy goes for myself um, seriously it goes 60% goes for myself and then um, 30 percent goes to my boys because they are my first priority if you have work if you have university if you have other obligations it will look completely different for you i do completely understand and respect and then if i have this 60 this 30 then i have five for my poor husband patrick and five percent for my friends which are very important but um, i have my guests my boys they are maybe um, my older one will go to university soon and the younger one is maybe two three maximum four more years with us and then he he might leave too and and as long as we, i have them they are my 30 percent and sometimes even for my 60 percent i give them because uh, if they are okay i'm okay i know i have to give them wings that they fly away next time i will show you a painting about this but uh, until now they are my responsibility and i wanted them on this planet so i have to give them whatever i can whatever i am able to so and this is everybody has to find this out about themselves what is your priority if you have 100 percent energy of yourself how much do you give whom so and uh, this is that and um, for me it's very important that i am independent and mobile on my own i have told you this in my other videos so my trike is very very important and we have a project that until summer my husband will wants to do something on the back of the car that it can my trike can go automatically up and uh, in, inside the car that i can even drive somewhere and have my trike there that's a super independence i love that um, and then um, today sorry the video got very long but i always have to tell you so much about myself um, that um, i forget about the time today i promise you i will always tell you a little bit about uh, one picture um, there is a there is a famous writer friedrich schiller and he german one passed away of course but he said something very nice which which means a lot to me when i heard it the first time um, i said oh for, from this uh, sentence i have to paint a picture he said der starke ist am mächtigsten alleine that means my translation in english is not that well but that means um, the most powerful man is the strongest when he's alone so i always say of course you need friends and family but you can do everything also by yourself and and you are very strong because you don't have other people to give their opinions or do that to this you go inside yourself and then you find a solution for yourself and you will go that way so for this sentence i made this picture and i hope you can see it well it's a lady she's looking at the world it's my style so 
she's looking at, she's by herself, she's standing powerful and is looking to the horizon and says, everything is possible and I can deal it, I can handle it very well, whatever happens. I just, I'm just full of love and this is the only thing I need. And the power of love can solve every problem, can do it. Our challenge is not a challenge. It's just making life more interesting, but share it, try to help others and you will see whatever challenge you have, you're not alone.